why do some people like one brand and like the other half of people like another brand? I don't understand. Like, you know, why is that? Well, it's genetic background and biological individuality. You could actually analyze this use, using metabolic typing, where you can figure out whether a person is overly alkaline or overly acidic. Well, I, well, I do know a lot of the people that. Well, let me just. Sentence, Mark. Hey, go ahead. Some go ahead. Are... Go ahead. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. You talk. All right. Go ahead. You need to start over. No, just go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, the beginning. Let me just say this. I know when I ask people about their diet, just say the people that are real alkaline. You know, that eat like kale and dandelion and real health conscious. They like one oil. Again, again you're, you're, you just don't understand and you're just babbling. Well, tell me why. I want to know why different people, because I never can tell people. That's why I'm giving people samples of all of them, because I, n I don't know what people like. I don't, you know, there's so I mean, I never exactly. can guess. Exactly. And the point is that depending on their genetics, they're going to be either overly acidic or overly alkaline. And the overly acidic people are going to like, sweet smelling things because they'll be making them more alkaline as in pulling them back into balance and the overly alkaline people will need sour and astringent smelling things because they will be pulling them and stimulating them out of being overly alkaline because everybody needs to be balanced and the acidic people are short tempered and, and uh, impolite and aggressive and uh, cutting people off and, uh, and showing signs of easy rage Whereas the uh, overly alkaline people are under. No, no, are you referring? No, I'm just pissed right. off because, you know, everyone, every company is saying, they, oh, they have the best one. Every, now, I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm actually getting to the bottom of this. You know, and I'm not me. I'm letting my customers tell me which one they like. I'm tired of telling people, oh, I like this one. It doesn't matter what I like because what I like, they might not like. You know, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually just fed up, that's actually. Great, yeah, that's a great point. And uh, yes, no manufacturer, well, you should say this. There is such a thing as quality. You can, number one, have oils that are diluted, which means you're not getting good value. Number two, there are oils that are badly extracted, so there'll be chemicals in them. That's another bad thing. Number three, you depend on how you grow it, so you will have nice, pure, clean, healthy plants, as opposed to some industrial sources that are not so great. So quality does matter. I understand that. Quality even with great quality, not everybody is going to like the same thing. You need to help balance people. And so basically, even you pick a good quality manufacturer, and on top of that, you need to start picking the right oils. So somebody well, 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 the people that like one brand, and they get the other brand, which is like the one, just say the one that I like, you know, they don't, they don't like it as much. And they think, oh, this one's better. There's no better. I don't think there's any better or worse. It's a matter of... But there, I, I know what you're saying about quality. There is quality. I mean, I mean, I do know what you're saying because I mean, if the, well, just 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 say they're all the same. Just say they're all not 100% oil. And I'm not I'm not here to talk about if they're 100% or non-cut. I'm talking about why people like this. This topic is about why people like one. I right, just assume they're all pure, you know, organic wild craft or wild crafted. You know, why would someone like, you know? Like, all right, we're going to do lavender. Just say someone likes high elevation lavender, while someone likes lavender absolute, while, you know, when someone likes spike. Somebody's going to like the Bulgarian, and somebody's going to like the French, and somebody's going to like the Californian. And it's just like with wine. Just imagine, you can say Merlot, red wine, and one is from France, one's from Australia, one's from California. Somebody's going to like the Australian better, somebody's going to like the Californian better, and it's that subtle difference, and it's given on the soil in which it's grown and the climate in which it's grown. And mm -hmm. it will, each of them will produce different, uh, small variations, but indeed a variation. All right, all right. Anything else? No, oh, just remember that there is no such thing as the perfect product for everybody. You need to try two or three. That's why sampling is such a great idea. Sample it out. Yeah, no one wanted to give me samples. I mean, every, no one wanted to give me samples when I first started this. So, you know, like, I don't even want to go there. All right, I'll talk to you later.